sunglasses. I was going so so heavy we come on. Actually, between me and you, eight hundred rupees just mata. So seven hundred to go over one. So somebody over met me in Kerala and said, "Is it a bus station again?" That's how people think. It is your personality what you create. It is about what you create and personality to speak about your other stuff, and they try to overshadow you. They should not be overshadowing you. What should overshadow is that your personality. Right? So we involve everybody in our company. We want the entire company to grow. So everybody makes money in this company. They take care of my company. So for me. Foremost is an idea. Idea is very important. Second comes the vision. The vision is very important for me. <coughs> third comes the right people. The right people. But our third should be the revenue model. What we want to do. Revenue model. Fourth comes right people. People are foremost for me. Fifth comes execution. The whole thing becomes a punch. Execution is very key. I know a lot of people who have. Who have uh, excellent business ideas and all that, but they end up failing in execution. I'm also worried about one more thing. In the in general, in our in the thing, I'm seeing a lot of popular names coming up in the dot com era. Majority of them are making huge losses. They are running the company on the basis of the in uh, funding which they are getting from different companies because of promises of Indian internet story. Yeah. But you can't always run on the basis of promises and run your company on a loss. What is the day? The day they stop giving you funding, you are draining. Mm -hmm. And if you drain, you are gone. So I know a lot of names. Without naming them, I am saying they all become big brands before making profit. For me, profitability is important. Profitability comes or uh, let's. It, because because they are maybe building a company to sell it valuation बनाओ बेच डालो यार करोड़ों बन जाएगा company कभी इस reason के लिए आप लोग मत बनो if you ever become an entrepreneur never make a company कि क्या ये आजकल कंपनियां बन के बिक जाती हैं उस focus से we will never create a good product and then we had a corpus of about 600 crores in the kitty just that is a company which is a debt free company zero debt company Zero debt company, cash rich company, highly profitable company. <coughs> so investment till date, whatever has come, whether it's Air Force, Tiger Global, Sequoia Capital, SAP Ventures, all that money is in fixed deposit. We <coughs> have never touched it, <coughs> and we are because we are profitable. Coming here, we should do about 125 crore profit. So when you are making profit, why do you need that money to be spent? Since we are again cost conscious, we don't splurge unnecessarily. We don't acquire companies just for the sake of it. That's why we have enough money. When we went IPO, people said naysayers again, "Boss, no one will fail." Only one. And lot of analysts. You keep seeing all the CNBCs and all that. Whatever experts are saying, and who uh, are experts? Even if you want to say, "No, this is not going to work because of these reasons," and valuation is very high. Just that. Uh, the problem with our country is that so many experts come and speak, and don't, they don't even know the industry. That <laughs> they don't even know what business you do. They don't even and they don't even come and speak with you and understand your business and then say whether it will work or not. <laughs> they just comment. <coughs> they just comment because they are not paid by those channels. Because उनको भी तो चाहिए ना कोई ना कोई बोलने वाला चाहिए सारे channels को. आप एक्सपर्ट बन जाओ आपको भी बुला लेंगे सो यू इट समथिंग लाइक दैट बिकॉज़ दे नीड ऑल दिस इंटरेक्शन एंड फिलर्स सो दे बिकम मेक देम एक्सपर्ट्स एंड सच पीपल कम एंड स्पीक एंड द जनता हु लिसन टू ऑल दैट एंड दे बिलीव इन दैट एंड दे गो अबाउट देयर बाइंग स्टॉक्स एंड ऑल दैट हैविंग सेड दैट व्हेन वी वी आर एनालिस्ट मीट वी आर मीडिया मीट एंड ऑल दैट एवरीवन लाइक एवरीबॉडी वाज टाइप ऑफ रिस्पांसिबिलिटी यू हैव whenever you try to propose something for the manufacturing sector or for any other function right so you have a lot of responsibility before you to clean finalize this is what you need to deliver at manufacturing sector or, or any other functional the thing with an organization so i'll be able to share both the experiences with you i'm sure about that and let's let's have this session interactive and i'm i'm not saying only for sake of saying so i have got only one way of talking either you talk or i talk so if you 
if you want me to talk, there is one that you should also be talking. So, one of the guys already started to sleep. So, <laughs> right? <so. laughs> right. All right. So, okay. So, what do you understand by excellence? When you say excellence in, act in action, you are having this symposium. What do you mean by excellence? Yeah. Efficiency and effectiveness. <coughs> High level of efficiency and effectiveness. High level of and efficiency and effect. Very right word. I would say very right word with respect to excellence. Okay. Efficient utilization of resources. Efficient and effectiveness, all those things you're gonna talk about for sure. Very good. Very right word. So why do you why do you need to excel in everything, whatever you do? What is the need of excellence? Differentiation. Differentiation with respect to? With respect to your peers. Who are going to be your peers? Okay. To see my excellence will differentiate you. Okay. All right. So if we are not thinking from yes. we are doing the competitors. We do competitors. So we are the market. Right. So why do we need excellence? For a simple reason. That because customer preferences will always keep shifting. You will get some new technology in the market. Four nights. It does happen. Right. You, you have one number of examples to follow. You talk of Nokia. There was a time when Cell phone means Nokia, right? I don't know how many of you use Nokia. Uh, and and <coughs> you, you may have back, so you might be using, would have started to use Nokia again, right? So, but there was a time when Nokia was completely out of the market, right? So, customer preferences might change. And ask Mr. Krishna, what made just that success? Perhaps you have got all the answers you wanted, right? That was the one question you would have asked for that. You would have got all the answers. He would have had to get no other option except to explain each and every step he took in order to make something successful. So, this is the art of selecting the right question. So, your answer will always depend on the question you ask. Number one. You can, you can see this? Okay. Practical meaning. The answer depends on the question for sure. Right? And the leadership principle. Simple. It simply says you have to perfect the question, not the answer. Right? This is an executive MBA batch, I am sure you would have all got 5 years, more than 5 years or 7 years of experience, right? Or even more than that. You have already worked in a number of companies, different type of sectors, different type of setups, right? And you would have seen, seen you would have worked there for 5 years, but you would have not questioned why these things are happening for so long. Communication, right? Survey, all those things. That is how you get a customer feedback, right? But you know, any customer in the world will have only three type of requirements from any given product, service or information. Yeah. Only three type of requirements. One is called the basic requirement, another is called the performance requirement and third is called the segment needs. So only three needs any customer will have. What is basic needs? Fundamental needs like food, water and all. Okay. 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 आप अच्छा दिखे सकते हैं क्या? माइंड भी रिक्वायरमेंट, बट डेट इज़ नॉट दैट। ठीक है ना? डेट इज़ योर बेसिक कार। आप जहाँ में कार आती है, कार का मतलब तो कार। कार का मतलब तो कार। इधर से लेकर उठता है, इधर से लेकर फर्स्ट थिंग और स्पीड। ठीक, स्पीड आती है आपके लिए। तो गाड़ी चले ना चले, बट स्पीड होनी चाहिए। गाड़ी मतलब सौ की स्पीड so, Jogi Purakar Nam Lesio, Jogi Purakar Nam Lo. The first thing, the first thing what comes to your mind is the basic meaning. Time must love Likna, Tesma must love Likna, Kar must love, right, the Raya, Kamil Kana, from one place to another. Then becomes basic meaning. Nothing but the demand we have. We have about 700 people in one India. Out of 700, we say 23% is that answer is here. So, on an average, 161 position we need to grow the region. So, what is the, what is the, what is the box? What is the capacity available with us? Mm. And this is the demand we have. Obviously, that has to happen that way. So, uh, so thank you.
Yes, sir, for giving us your insights into operations management and now I believe we understand how what we learn at MBA college actually works in an organization. That's very helpful. Um, yeah, um, I'd like to call on Manju to give sir a memento from our side. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'd like to call on Divya to give a memento from our side as a, a token of our appreciation. <laughs> sir, the uh, same model, like uh, you are asking the hospitals to, to stock it. Right. So will the same we will it will not work for a drugs for example no, since it doesn't have expiry dates I think you are able to make no, them. No, it also has an expiry date. But mostly, sir. No, no, but everything no, has no. An expiry date. The implants will have implants and instruments also. Okay. You can't have anything which is being used in surgical operation without an expiry date. Right. Even if you are use, using a needle, that also has to have expiry date. But uh, when comparatively drugs, it will have a higher expiry date than the drugs. No, that will have again, this is 5 years expiry date we have. Ah, but right. is a one, 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 one year, one and a half years. No, around 3 years. I don't think any drug is there. No, sir. Oh, it is there. Yeah. Depend on the drug also, right? It could be depending on the drug. So, will the same model will work there also? Right? This can work. Basically, this, again, vendor manage inventory you always keep talking about, right? Same, this is the same concept which is which is applied to your customer. This is called customer managed inventory. That's the only, only difference. So, it all depends on what is the demand you are getting. If you are finding demand is too much, so there are no chances of something getting expired. So that's fine with me. Okay. So this is a complete supply chain study which happens. So I have just shown you the output, okay. but this has taken a lot of study behind that. So number of models, the, the number of models which we created, Excel models we created, and look at what is the what is the shelf life availability and what is the demand here. And secondly, sir, uh, did you not get any uh, sir, like uh, not acceptance from the customer? For example, didn't they didn't feel like it is overstocking? Usually, usually the hospitals they feel like no, no, overstocking. No, 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 this this industry is an industry where you know customer is very very important. Now suppose there is surgery which is coming, right? Surgery which is coming. So they have to have those instruments and those implants available with them. So they are happy stocking it okay. rather than saying no to in any case they can't say no to any customer. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So they should they want to keep this inventory with them to make sure they are serving the customer right way. Obviously, there is a space constraint. Obviously, they can't keep like more than something which is required or more than something that they don't have stock for. They they don't have store storage for. Okay. So that is a limiting factor for sure. Sure. Right. Yeah. Now I'd like to invite Divya to present Mr. Um, Rohit with the moment of our Thank you very much, sir, for this insightful session. Thank you for our entire batch.